What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> Okay, this is just a little unfair. Keychron just pulled Mirror Force out of their damn ass. What is good everyone, Shubes here. Today we are taking a look at this monstrosity. Because I'll be real, I don't know how the hell Keychron was able to meet this price on a custom entry board like this without signing a few dubious contracts. This right here is a fully custom keyboard featuring a south-facing hot swap PCB, acoustic dampening, pre-lubed screw-in stabs, not plate mount, and QMK slash via compatibility for, wait for it, 50 bucks. 50 freaking dollars. That's less than like 40 zeal switches, but for real, 50 bucks in this hobby might as well be like 50 cents because if you're trying to buy a whole ass custom keyboard, you aren't gonna get shit. Until now that is. This board bare bones comes in at $54 without shipping, but you can also add a knob right here for like 10 bucks or buy just completely built with their pre-lubed switches and PBT keycaps for an extra $20. Honestly, that's pretty damn insane. The price of a meal at Five Guys gets you the switches and keycaps. God damn. Actually, <laughs> now that I think of it, why is Five Guys even considered fast food? Have you seen their prices? That's a gourmet meal right there. Sorry, I just had Five Guys yesterday and I felt like ranting because th that bitch cost me like 30 bucks through DoorDash. It, it was very good though. Now the board itself is nothing extraordinary in terms of the custom keyboard world as it's your typical tray mount design featuring a ABS plastic construction with a steel plate. I can already tell the typing experience is gonna be stiff like my poor scoliosis ridden gamer back. I live in constant pain. However, although this isn't gasket or top mount or whatnot, it has all the characteristics of a custom keyboard, which is really impressive, especially at this price point. South facing hot swap PCB, allowing for no keycap interference, check, customizability with VIA and QMK right out of the box without using some cringe proprietary software, check. PCB mounted stab so you can switch it out for any good aftermarket stabilizer set without looking for some obscure plate mounted ones. Check. Honestly, for a complete noob, this looks like a great entry into the hobby. But first, let's take a closer hands-on look and see how it really is. So the board comes in this nice package that is filled with foam. Uh, the unboxing experience is actually quite high quality once you open up the box. You're met with some of the padding that's cut out, as well as the keyboard and accessories. The keyboard came in this plastic bag, but I already took this out, but you should get one when you buy it. Uh, so in the box, you're greeted with the board and some accessories. They include a USB-C cable, keycap puller, and a freaking screwdriver as well as a switch puller. Honestly, they really just hand you everything you need to build this board right in the box. It's not super crazy in a high-end board to include accessories like this, but at $54, these small accessories are a pretty good touch since a complete beginner might not have any of these tools. So taking a closer look at the board itself, it is indeed a keyboard. <laughs> But it has a very simple side profile, but a overall very solid construction. Yeah, that is pretty solid. It's also got a bit of heft to it with all the dampening inside. Comes with bump buns installed as well as some kick up feet. I actually am a big fan of these kick up feet. Uh, uh, and also a lot of lube on these pre-lubed stabilizers. Goddamn, that is wet. 
So for the internals of the board, you can see all the dampening. I think it has this silicone dampening sheet underneath as well as plate foam. Uh, it does give it a bit of weight to it though, and uh, it doesn't feel as cheap. It is, like I keep saying, very, very solid. So for the build, I thought, hey, most people probably aren't going to put switches and keycaps that are, you know, more expensive than the actual case itself. So I won't be putting my usual GMK set or lubed and filmed MX Blacks. This time we'll look into the lens of a beginner and just use some pre lube switches and some Keychron PBT keycaps. So I forgot to mention that this PCB also allows for 5-pin switches, which is a very nice feature as well. So here is how the board looks completely built, honestly pretty clean. I think the keycap set that they uh, that I used here is the PBT Cherry Profile um, keycaps from Keychron and the switches are the Phantom Gatoron Reds. These are like really good lubed or uh, pre-lubed pre actually, they are quite smooth. But let's see how this sounds and feels. So, what do I think of the board? It's a keyboard alright. And you know what? Considering myself and for 50 bucks, it's pretty damn good. Now the typing experience is pretty boring, uh, very freaking stiff, no room for give, but honestly it's tray mount and stiff isn't always a bad thing depending on preference. However the sound is pretty good, not bad at all. Dampening is pretty substantial, it's a muted sound profile, but even with stock pre-looped switches, it sounded alright. Also the pre-looped stabs on these are probably one of the best pre-looped stabs that I've ever seen come with a keyboard. I guess drowning them in the loop did work well. All in all, for the price, for those that want to dip their toes in the hobby, this board seems like a no-brainer. There's nothing too special about it, but it does provide many aspects of customs for people to get into without, you know, breaking the bank. For those that are already in the hobby with higher-end boards, the only real reason to pick this up would be as like a switch tester board because of hot swap, or maybe as a gift for those who you want to lead to bankruptcy. I'm honestly quite happy to see even more beginner and budget-friendly boards like this come out. When I saw the price tag, I was like, oh my god, how the hell? <laughs> it was actually insane. And I gotta give props to Keychron for actually providing many features, such as screw in stabs and south facing PCB that enthusiasts are used to at this price point. This board gets a big thumbs up of approval from me. Ah, yeah, this is key. This is